Thanks for joining us. Tonight we bring you the graphic evidence of how violent street brawls are turning the heart of Byron Bay into a no-go zone for tourists. Our cameras caught these sickening scenes just on Saturday night and police are pleading for help to shut down the thugs. Reporter Jessica Ross witnessed this violence and Jess, just how scary was it? Bill, it was nothing short of terrifying. I've covered schoolies celebrations on the Gold Coast for the past few years now and I've never seen fights on the scale as the ones we saw on the weekend. Some involved up to 15 people. They were running from one side of the street to the other. People were getting knocked to the ground and if they hit their head on the pavement, they would have been seriously hurt. Police have been saying that there's some real issues in the town. They've been trying to raise the issues for months. But it's only when you see it for yourself that you realise just what they have to put up with. A world-famous tourist playground transformed into a violent battleground. <laughs> Revelers out of control in the heart of Byron Bay. <laughs> Police are vastly outnumbered and out of patience as the brawlers show little remorse. Another fight between two people ends up involving at least 15. <laughs> to some, it's a spectator sport. Everyone, just go away. Taxi rank security guards are sick of it. We face knives, broken bottles, tyre levers, basically anything people can get hands on. Minutes later, he's again trying to bring calm to the chaos. Stop. It's not even 12.30 yet and already we witnessed two major brawls. And the worst thing of all is that innocent people are being caught up in it. A bouncer and a bystander inadvertently hit with pepper spray as police tried to break up a fight. Earlier on, the town was filled with families enjoying the relaxed atmosphere. But this main street saw nearly 200 alcohol-related assaults last year alone. The Byron Shire Council believes a 1am club lockout could curb the violence. No way, because a lockout at that time of night puts everyone out on the streets where they can't be controlled. Instead, club owners and police want a security camera network, which council recently rejected. And I think they're being um, basically negligent in their duties by not signing off on them. The mayor argues cameras aren't in the spirit of the town. Byron is Byron. It does not, as a general rule, feel that, you know, we want to be under surveillance. Locals may like their privacy, but these very public images are ruining Byron Bay's hard-earned reputation. Yeah, they're pretty disgraceful. Jess, what happens next then? How are these feuding community leaders really going to stop the violence? Well, Bill, Council has the power to apply for state government funding, but all it needs to do is agree to at least investigate that option, but it's refusing to do so. The club owners have also said they won't be changing their operating times and won't be introducing lockouts. So the two major parties are really at a stalemate. However, the state police minister did speak today after seeing our footage, and he's made an announcement, and we'll bring you that a little later in the bulletin. All right, we'll hear from you then. Thanks, Jessica Ross at Byron Bay.